we're going to go be doing assignment 9.2 and I will do problems 2, 4, and 6 for right now. So I'm going to start with 2. We have 50 y squared times the cube root of 20 y. So 50, I'm going to make I'm going to make a tree up here, a prime factorization tree. So it's 5 times 10, and we have 2 times 5, 20. I'm going to make a prime factorization tree. So I have 2 times 10, and then 2 times 5. So I have the cube root of 5 times 2 times 5. And I have y squared, and that's my first cubic root. And here is the third root of 20, which is going to be 2 times 2 times 5 times y. So if I multiply both roots, if I multiply the cube root of 50y squared, which is 5 times 2 times y squared, and then I'm going to multiply 2 times 2 times 5 times y, I get 5 times 5 times 5, so that's 5 to the third power, that's 5 times 5 times 5, that's 5 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 to the third power, y squared times y is y to the third power, so if I get the cube root of 5 cubed times 2 cubed times y cubed, do you know it's going to be 5 to y? Or 5 times 2 times y, which gives us 10y. Okay, so we know that we have the square root, so in this case it's the index is 2, square root, so we know that the index is 2. So we have a 5 times 7 times x squared times x times y. Now the reason why I have x squared times x is because we can get the square root of x squared and the square root of x squared is x, but you have to leave the x inside the radical. 28, I'm going to go ahead and write it here on the outside. So we have 7 times 4 and 4 is going to be 2 times 2. So let me rewrite this. So we have square root 7 times 2, and there's two of them, so it's 2 to the second power, times y squared. So I'm going to multiply 7 times 7, and that gives you 7 squared. And then we have x squared. There's no other x squared. Uh, we have an x. And then we have y times y squared. So I'm just going to leave it as y times y squared uh, times uh, 2 squared, right? So I'm going to get the square root. I'm going to get the square root of 7 squared, which is going to be 7. I'm going to get the square root of x squared. It's going to be x. Uh, we can't get the square root of x, so we have to leave it inside the radical. We can't get the square root of y because uh, it's not raised to the second power. So I've, I've done this one. I've done this one. This one's going to stay in the radical. The x is going to stay in the radical. The y is going to stay in the radical. The square root of y squared is going to be y. And then, of course, 2 squared times 2, and then you write your radical. The square root of 2 squared is 2. The square root of y squared is y. So you're left with xy. Now remember that there was a 5 on the outside, so you got to multiply it times 5. So you get 5 times 7, which is going to be 35. Oh, 5 times 7 is 35 times 2, so it's going to be 70 xy square root of xy.
that's going to be number four. Okay, we're going to go ahead and multiply square root of three times the square root of two, which gives you the square root of six. You're going to multiply square root of three times the square root of 21, which I'm going to say three times 21. So I'm going to simplify the square root of six minus the square root of three times the square root of 21 is going to be three times seven. So it's going to be the square root of six minus three times three is three squared. So it's going to be the square root of six minus three square root of seven since so the square root of nine is three. Okay, 50, I'm going to do prime factorization tree. We're going to multiply and then we're going to simplify. This is going to be 5 times 10. This is 5 times 2. 15, prime factorization 3, 3 times 5. So I have, I have the cube root. 50 is 5 to the second power times 2. And we have x squared and we have z to the fifth power times the cube root of 15 is 3 times 5, right? And then you have y to the third power times z. So we have the cube root and we're going to multiply. You have 5 squared and you have a 5, so that's going to be 5 to the third power. Uh, you have a 2. You don't have another 2, so I'm just going to be my times 2. x squared. Do we have another x squared? No. z. Or we have y cubed. y cubed. You have a 3, so you got to multiply here by 3. And then z is going to be to the 6th power. So let me see if I got everything. We have 5 squared times 5 is 5 to the third power times 2. There's 2. We have x squared. x squared's there. z, z to the fifth times z. That gives you z to the sixth. You have a 3. You have y cubed. Now you're going to get the cube root. And anything that's raised to the third power, you're able to get the cube root. For example, the cube root of 5 to the third, that's 5. The cube root of y cubed, that's y. z to the 6, if you really think about it, it's going to be z to the 6 is the same thing as saying z to the 3rd times z to the 3rd. So what you're going to do is I'm going to write z to the 3rd times z to the 3rd. And that is z to the 6. So that's z and that's z. Now we have the cube root. It's going to be 2 x squared times 3. And now we're going to simplify 5. Actually, we're multiplying 5 times y times z to the second power. Cube root 2 times 3, 6x squared. So we multiplied and we've also simplified. I'm going to do number 11. But what we're going to do first is we're going to divide. So we have the square root of 63xy cubed divided by 7. 63 <laughs> divided by 7 is 9x. And then we have y to the third power divided by y. That's y squared. We're going to get the square root. Remember, the index is 2. So we're going to get the square root. 9 is actually 3 to the second power times x times y squared. So anything that is raised to the second power, we're able to find the square root. 3 squared, that's 3. 
y squared, that's y. And then we have the square root. This comes out, this comes out. So what are you left with? The square root of x. Number 12, we're going to simplify. So we have equals square root. Of course, the index is 2. We have 27. 54 divided by 2 is 27. x to the 5th divided by x to the 2nd is x to the 3rd. y to the 3rd divided by y, that's y to the 2nd. Remember that 27 is 3 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. So what we have is we have the square root of 3 times 3 to the 2nd times x squared times x times y to the 2nd. And the reason why I split it up is because we know that the index is 2. And so if we have a number raised to the second power, we can find the square root. For example, 3 squared, the square root of 3 squared is 3 times, I got this one out, uh, the square root of x squared is x. Uh, the square root of y squared is y. So anything that is left behind that is in raised to the second power, so it's 3x. So when we simplify the square root of 27, x to the third, y squared, it's going to be 3 x, y, and I don't know why I put a 3, but it's not a 3. It's going to be the square root, the square root of 3x. Number 15, we have to the fourth root of 243, k to the third, divided by 3, k to the seventh. So we have the fourth root, and we have 243 divided by 3, which is 81. And we have k to the third divided by k to the seventh. In this case, it's k to the fourth. You notice that I'm subtracting the exponents. So 3 minus 7 is negative 4, but it's going to be in the denominator. 81. Uh, remember that 81 is uh, it's 9 times 9, 3 times 3. 3 times 3, so I did the prime factorization to, uh, prime factorization tree. So if I were to get the fourth root of 81, it'd be 3 to the fourth divided by k to the fourth. So if I got the if I got the fourth root of this radical, it's just going to be 3 over k. The area of a rectangle is 30 meters squared. So the area of the rectangle is 30 meters squared and I know that if the length I know that the length is going to be a square root of 75 so what is the width so I know that this is my rectangle and this is 30 so to find the area it's going to be length times width and so I know the area is 30 I know that the length is the square root of 75 times w, so you're multiplying by the square root of 75, dividing, I mean dividing by the square root of 75, so I have 30 divided by the square root of 75, now we really don't like to have square roots in the denominator, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify, so I have 30 divided by the square root of 3, times 25, which you know that 25 is the same thing as 5 to the second power. So the square root of 25 is 5. So what you have is 30 divided by 5 square root of 3. And since you have a 30 here and you have a 5, 30 divided by 5 is 6 over square root of 3. And like I said, we don't like to have a denominator as a square root. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the denominator by the square root of 3, the numerator by the square root of 3, which square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 is 1. So this is 6 square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. What is square root of 9? 3. So you have 6 square root of 3 over 3. So the length, I'm sorry, the width, 
the width will be 2 square root of 3.